Moab, an epic location full of amazing sights, scenery, and wheeling. This is Dome Plateau, Moab, Utah. Good morning. Today, we're gonna do Dome Plateau, which is over by Top of the World. Never done it, and hopefully it's not too windy so you can hear me, but it's actually a little windy today. I'm not sure what we're getting ourselves into, but just behind me, Top of the World right there. On the way in, on the drive in, we actually saw vehicles up on the point of Top of the World. That was really cool. Well, people are airing down, as you can see. So we're gonna go in here in a minute. What's next? It's day two of EGS 2023, and today we're doing Dome Plateau, and the group is overly excited to get started. No, no, get, get in the busted. This will be the first time for both Kim and I. Today, Kim is going to be the driver, so I get to sit back, take in the views, just enjoy the scenery. For every trip, there's always that one moment that just lets you know it's gonna be an epic trip. I think this cowboy was it. From the get-go of this trail, the scenery was just unchanged. It's just so beautiful. Tall cliff walls with lots of colors, reds, whites, you name it. Pretty amazing. I'm actually happy I'm not driving today. So poor Kim has paid attention to the trail. Well, I get to take in the stunning beauty. The scenery along this route is pretty awesome. I mean, it's like red cliff walls with bright white lining them and layers in them. You got these like fluorescent green bushes and off to the left is the Colorado River. It's just stunning view. Plus, I mean, there's a lot of what I like to call arches in training, which is uh, where an arch will eventually be in a few thousand years, maybe more than that. And it just is like very, very beautiful landscape. I mean, it's almost like a pancake of colors along this trail. It's just, it's just beautiful. For today's adventure, we had a meet up with the San Diego Jeep Club from Southern California, not far from where I live. They drove all the way to Moab, and this is going to be one of those trails you remember forever. One of the things people talk about on this trail is the arch. Ever seen it? Can't wait to check it out. So while on the trail, there's always something to be found. In this case, we found a beautiful arch out here. Man, it is pretty cool. We're gonna hike over to it, check it out, and have lunch. I got all the way up to the top so we can take a picture of you. As people may say, challenge accepted. Unlike a majority of the arches you see in Arches National Park, this one is sort of small and you're able to climb underneath it, on it, and get behind it, making it a really cool spot just to get out of the vehicle and explore. Just beautiful. It is windy. I mean, that's how arches are formed, right? So, you gotta expect a little wind when you're checking out the arches. Now that we got the arch under our belt, we decided to have a quick lunch before heading down the trail. Okay. Uh, okay. Not that you still can't really, really yeah. nice But you know, and I did the whole marriage stretch. thing. After an enjoyable quick lunch, the group load up, headed off to the east. Just feet down the trail was this nice four foot waterfall. Got the blood pumping, woke you up after eating. 
it is easy to see one of the perks of this trail, and that is just the beautiful views. I mean, it seems like you can see forever with bright color changes, the greens, the browns, the reds, and occasionally the yellows. It's no doubt why Indians lived here, because this would be probably one of the coolest places to live. Some obstacles, just not expected. About 15 minutes down the trail, someone said there's a must stop coming up, and that is there's water that seeps out of these limestone canyon walls. I had to see this for myself. So Kim, I, and the kid jumped out of the vehicle, hiked up near this watering trough that was created by the farmers out here. Well, sort of interesting what this is, what it's going to look like. Can't wait to climb in this cave. As we were walking back to the jeeps, I noticed something just around the corner. To our lucky surprise, we actually found some old Indian dwellings and it had springs dripping inside. It was a, uh, actually we crawled back inside and I was sitting there and like we got quiet and you could hear it drip, drip, drip. And I was like, is anyone else here dripping? And I thought everyone thought I was crazy. Turn around and they could see the spring dripping out of the wall. And then as we started walking around, I was like, look, 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 it's everywhere. And we look up and the whole ceiling's just dripping water with these little bitty stalactites. Man, that was probably actually, might be one of my highlights of the overall Moab trip so far. Definitely worth doing just for that one item. Just for one Well, it's definitely Indians lived in this because you could tell that's all set from fires. And uh, the store. This is the end. Uh, can you? Because it's my casey. I wonder if it still like cool like this in the Yep, see it? Mm -hmm. Where did it drip out like? Where did it drip out of? It came out from like. Right over here. Right here, right there. It's coming out of this hole right here. Do you see that? Watch. There it goes. I do have two big flashlights. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We'll try it. That's awesome. It's like water drip. Oh, there's one just right there. It's gonna go right there. Oh! Boy. Mm -hmm. So, is this whole thing too from fire? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because that's definitely fire. So, the fire used to be right there. Imagine this being your view when you walk out your front door. Well, it's time to walk back to the Jeeps, load up, and get moving. Next stop, not really sure. Let's see what this trail has in store for us. If you've driven down the 70, you've seen the signs for Ghost Rock. Let me know what you think. Does this look like Ghost Rock? Because to me, it did. As you're going down the trail, there are several cavalry gates. Make sure you close them behind you. As we're going down the trail, we decided to split off in the Owl Canyon, and it's just a little loop off the main trail. Uh, there's actually a old uranium mining camp there. And uh, if you don't know, Moab is actually famous for the uranium out here. So you can research that as far as something interesting. But on this route, there is a uranium camp and you actually see in the rocks in more than one place that yellow strip and that's a uranium. So you don't really want to uh, kick up dust. If you see those yellow rocks, don't want to handle them, don't want to touch them, don't want to eat off them, don't want to play in the dirt. Um, let's be safe and wash your hands out here if you're going to eat, if you've touched dirt overall. Very pretty trail though. We're moving, let's see what's next. It didn't take the group very long, and we eventually got to this old uranium camp. This camp was on the top of the hill, which makes you wonder, why would you build it there, exposed to all the elements? Rough living in here, huh? They could have picked a slightly better place to live. Top of a hill? Yeah. This other building was barely holding on. I walked inside, I took a quick look, realized I need to get out of this building because any one of these wind gusts could be the one that takes it over. 
with the day getting long, the stops are getting shorter and the group is moving on. With the snow-covered lasalles looming off in the distance, the bright green prairies, the cattle, the red rocks, the white colors, what might be one of my favorite trails of all time.